I've played The Last of Us so many times, but finally, I'm giving up. <coughs> Playing as Joel. I thought he deserved to have a little bit of a break for once, so with the help of a PC mod, I'm attempting to beat the entirety of The Last of Us Part 1 as Ellie. Shout out to Ashura1756, who is the creator of this mod, which I'll link in the description below. First, let me give you an idea of how this mod works and point out some self-imposed limits for this challenge. Essentially, this mod swaps the character models for Ellie and Joel and changes the combat so Ellie has her knife, bow, and pistol, which is what I stuck with for the whole game other than the winter section. One major quirk of this mod is that I can't open my backpack to craft outside of the winter section, and if I die or restart a checkpoint, my inventory is reset to include a pistol with 4 bullets, a bow with 3 arrows, and a bottle. Any other weapons or upgrades will disappear as soon as I die. And side note, I discovered after editing that this mod has a bug where the inventory state as Ellie doesn't save, so it always resets to the default inventory or the inventory when I last played as Joel. This didn't really change throughout the game though since I only had to switch to Joel a couple times and didn't pick anything up while playing as him, but it's worth noting. So basically no crafting, no upgrades, and any items I pick up will disappear at the next checkpoint. Even though Ellie has a knife, I can't take enemies head-on with hand-to-hand -hand combat, but I can kill them if I stun them first with a brick or bottle, or I take them by surprise. I have to play a new game on Grounded, the hardest difficulty in the game, and I am playing the full game as Ellie, though I may have to uninstall the mod at a few points where the game otherwise crashes. The PC port of this game is known to be a glitchy mess, and while it's mostly fixed, the graphics still look off compared to its PS5 counterpart. Adding in an unofficial mod, this should be fun. Let's go. The story started off like normal. Ellie came home to her newly adopted daughter Sarah and easily carried her entire body weight upstairs to bed. Since this mod swaps Joel with Ellie, Sarah was actually unchanged and for the player, this chapter is mostly the same at this first part, except who is this man? You're not my dad! You also hear something! Ugly Ellie showed up to traumatize Sarah and then awkwardly floated alongside us until we crashed the car. Then, Ellie looked pretty traumatized herself and proceeded to hold Sarah like a human shield. She wanted nothing to do with Sarah and teleported like 10 feet away while she died. Then I cut to 20 years later where Ellie had aged a lot. Okay, not really. What one? Tess, she's 14. I took control of Ellie and the buildings were straight up not there in the first shot, so that was already a good sign. I met these friendly street performers and then stopped at a checkpoint where Ellie used a quality fake ID. I got my only health kit for the entire game, and then Ellie proceeded to care about these spores. Psych! The game also crashed here, which was another good sign. My mask broke. Skill issue. Look, even Tess doesn't have a mask. I fought this first group of infected, and hitting this shot reminded me how good mouse aiming is. We bribed this guy with Pokemon cards for Robert's location, and the next area got super glitchy. First, Ellie spawned in front of cover, so I had to restart the checkpoint. Following that, the camera kept freezing in place like Resident Evil. Still, I restarted this and hit a sick 1-2 combo with a bullet and knife attack. I used a bunch of bottles to get past the next part, and then pulled an invisible chain and jumped into the abyss. There's our boy. There is literally no one there, Tess. I mostly ran through this area until I reached Robert. No hard feelings, right? I got it. We caught up with Marlene and made it through the docks to meet the person we were smuggling. He gave me a friendly greeting by combat, but at least he finally got a knife. So I begrudgingly took the kid to my hideout. Hmm, he looks a little weird though. Today, we have four teenagers and one secret non-teenager. Can you guess who it is? That's right, it's Sarah. And I'm 14, not that that has anything to do with anything. I caught my breath, and Joel decided to sit in the literal rain. I've never been this close. To the outside. My guy, you are outside. Now get back in here. Yeah, nothing about this cutscene makes sense. Past the wall, these Fedra soldiers absolutely bodied Ellie before calmly arresting Tess and Joel. Ah, another very normal looking cutscene. We made it past the soldiers, and Ellie levitated for a minute before moving into this giant skyscraper. Let's search for supplies. Except, I literally can't use any crafting material, even from the menu, it just does nothing. I couldn't even open this door for some reason, which, mind you, I had picked up at least three shivs at this point, but the game kept removing them. We came to the first clicker, and using a brick combo here was super easy. I dropped down shortly after to handle my first group of infected, and once again I breezed through. 
This whole building had so many throwables that it was actually pretty easy as Ellie since she could combo with the knife, so I cleared out the subway entirely. Killing these next few runners was super easy, and then Ellie stood in this chain to open the door to the museum. After getting separated, I made it to the second floor and accidentally threw a bottle right at Jill's face, but I still saved him. Oh man, can't deny that view. The view is literally Ellie's back. We made it to the courthouse, and Tess revealed she was infected. Gee, I wonder how that could have happened. Leaving here, I basically just made a run for it. I was not ready for Joel to breathe spores, and neither was Ellie because she looked shocked. I was even more shocked to learn that in this version of the game, Ellie can finally swim, but she kinda just T-posed and awkwardly floated in the air. I could still swim underwater too if I held the dive button, and it looked very off. Alright Joel, come on, now we can both swim. Right? I pushed Joel along the water, and we headed to Bill's town. Alright, just need to set this plank down, and yeah, perfect, that'll reach. I picked up the bow, and this was the only weapon outside of the starting pistol that stuck with Ellie for the entire game. Not far into Bill's town, and Ellie wasn't tall enough to grab this plank, so I had to uninstall the mod, play as Joel to pick up and move the board, and then reinstall the mod at the next checkpoint. I realized while playing as Joel for 5 seconds that I didn't have the rifle I picked up in the last chapter, the molotov, shivs, or any supplies in my backpack, even the supplements. I still don't understand why Ellie can't pick up anything. Also, I picked up the bow here as Joel and unknowingly saved it to my inventory, but I've already done a pistol only run for this game anyway. Maybe Ellie knife only run next? Let me know in the comments if you guys want that. Switching back to Ellie, I soon got caught in this invisible snare. Well, maybe if you actually cut the rope, Joel. Right after this section, I didn't keep the revolver for some reason. Bill gave Joel a hello kiss, and I came across more infected and used some bricks to kill them on our way to the church. Seriously, you gotta take that kid back to where you found her. Bro, I'm right here? Then Bill gave me another weapon that would soon disappear, and he yelled at Joel. Hey! What I said to you when we walked down the steps? I'm just fixing your stupid pile. I cleared out this graveyard and mostly snuck my way through these backyards. We got stuck, but luckily Joel was the perfect size to fit through this doggy door. Careful. Of course. We fought our way into the high school, but sadly they had just given away the last car battery. I ended up killing most of the infected in this hallway with no ammo to spare and made it to the gym. That don't sound good. Some I was worried for this fight because I didn't have any molotovs or nail bombs, but thanks to the endless supply of runners giving me ammo, the bloater was kinda easy to kill. The hardest part of the gym was just climbing out. I fell about three times and had to restart the checkpoint until Bill felt like finally helping me out. Eventually, we made it out of the school and met up with Frank, who was kind enough to donate a car battery. After taking out these infected, which required me to restart a couple of checkpoints, we got into the truck and drove away. To the invisible! Then we left for Pittsburgh. Ellie got straight up impaled in this quick time event, but luckily she remembered her plot armor and channeled some part to Ellie to kill this first guy and kick this other one's face to save Joel. This first section is where I really had to start playing aggressively because Pittsburgh had so many unavoidable combat sections. You're gonna pay for that! <laughs> then Joel did his stand up routine. <clears throat> So, uh, on the way over I saw some potholes in the road, but the guys fixing them disappeared. Still waiting on them to resurface. Uh, what's the difference between the hunters and potholes? I try to avoid hitting potholes. I think they like that one. I ended up running through this bookstore while Joel painted his nails, so he couldn't get them wet on this pallet. We made it to the hotel, and the manager was extremely rude when I tried to check in. I ended up clearing the first floor of the hotel, and then moving on to the second floor. This area took me much longer than I expected, mainly because the enemies were so aggressive, and I wanted to clear out the entire floor. There's a body over here! There's a body here too! It's over, Anakin! I have the high ground! Ellie took a dip in the hotel pool, and in the basement, I mostly made a run for it because I was certain I'd have no chance against the infected down there. I cleaned up this restaurant and tried to grab this guy's shoe while he attempted to drown me, and Joel didn't like that. 
I argued with Joel, but to make it up to him, I played him a song. We continued to the financial district. You seem to know your way around a gun. You reckon you can handle that? And to me, this is one of the hardest parts of the game. This took longer than I'd like to admit, but I slaughtered all of them. Just like in my pistol only playthrough, for some reason the game gave me the rifle after the section, but it quickly disappeared. How the f did they wipe out the entire crew over there? Like this. <laughs> Joel and I continued our way through Pittsburgh, fighting off more of the hunters, and this section was pretty satisfying. We ran past this machine gun, and then Ellie gave Henry the Joel Miller hello, and we teamed up with Henry and Sam for the biggest heist of our careers. Joel shoplifting from this toy store. That doesn't belong to you. Thief! Then we followed Henry to his hideout. So, how old are you? Me? 14. How old are you? Uh, the same? Dude, this is not a Netflix original. He is not 14. You are clearly not the same age. After many tries, I fought my way through the nighttime gate fight. What? After making it through the gate, Henry and Sam ditched us, so I went inside this bar to grab a drink. <laughs> then, Joel decided to leap off this bridge, and I got this awkward cutscene in first person. Hey, you. You're finally awake. You were trying to cross the border, right? Henry saved us from drowning, and we got to tour Ish's boat before entering the sewers. Oh, yeesh. That is a big rat. Oh wait, that's just Joel. I had to fight off a few infected down here, but they were no issue. We got separated, and I was alone with Sam. Mostly, I just ran through the section and picked off a couple infected that got in my way. Finally, we got to the last room, and luckily, this section always spawns a Molotov, so for once, I could use one to hold off the infected until Joel and Sam got us out. We explored this lovely neighborhood. And Ellie missed the start so far wide, which probably wasn't helped by her not even holding it. I had to take on the sniper, and Ellie was bloodthirsty. The sniper section worked like normal, but as expected, Ellie held an air sniper. I breezed through this part and made it to the radio station. I don't think anyone from my group is gonna show up. I am not gonna show up either. After separating from Henry and Sam, we made it to Tommy's Dam. Close enough. Yeah. This section was full of people gaslighting me, but at least we had a heartwarming reunion. You're f***ing old. Bro, be serious for one minute. Here. It's a little faded, but it still looks pretty good. Tommy, please. Tommy's. Brother. I kind of see the resemblance. I see. Enough! Will anyone around here be honest with me? Buddy? That's Buckley. Finally, thank you. Next mod I need to play as him. Bandits quickly showed up, but taking them out in this first room wasn't too bad, and I made my way to the bridge. Getting through here was mostly fine, other than Tommy randomly shoving me away from cover. Joel was mad at me, so I rode my horse to go pick him up from his friend's house. I took out these bandits on the way, and then I went to have a chat with Joel. Joel was mad I was hogging the camera time, so he literally shoved me out of the frame. I took out the ranch guys, and I took Joel to college, who was thrilled to go. Just look how excited he was. And for some reason, getting off the horse and back on again fixed him. Mostly. For some reason, the runners in this generator room were super unobservant, and they let me knife kill all of them. Usually, knife kills were louder and would alert other enemies, but for some reason, this was fine. I went to check out Joel's dorm room, and on my way, I met his friends in the basement. I killed one clicker, but otherwise stuck through so we could continue to the hospital. Bro, rip or whatever, but I am not listening to your whole podcast. I found out our tour would continue to Salt Lake City, and then fought my way out of the hospital. This wasn't hard, but I did try to be more accurate here. Ellie fell from this railing, and suddenly she possessed Joel's body. It was weird. 
Somehow, I made it out of the building, and neither of us made it onto that horse. Winter is actually half normal in this game. Since you normally play as Ellie, this part was actually unchanged, and I could even craft and access my backpack. So, to challenge myself, I had the goal of killing all of David's men in this section. I killed this deer, and the cutscene after felt very weird. Not because David was there, but because it played normally instead of with Joel and Ellie awkwardly standing outside the camera frame. Hope you know how to use that thing. I've had some practice. That's straight up a lie, I've never shot a rifle in this game. I tore through this first part and made quick work of the elevator shaft. No, I think we did it. Like we killed all of them? We? David, look around. This was absolutely not a team effort. Then I snatched this medicine and took it back so Ellie could heal Ellie. The hunters chased me on my horse and they took out Callus, so I got payback on every single one of them. I stopped to enjoy the view, then I continued my slaughter. I switched back to Ellie and ran out of the house in search of Ellie. Ellie very politely tucked these two guys into bed, and then made some small talk. But you're gonna mark it on the map, and it better be at the same exact spot your buddy points to. Mark it. Right there. I took a quick break to get a bite and a slice, and then I headed out to the blizzard to kill more of David's men. I met up with David again, and hmm, his machete looks a little different here. I beat this fight, and... The game crashed. Apparently, the transition to the next section breaks the game, so I had to disable the mod momentarily, walk a few steps as Joel until I hit a checkpoint, and then turn the mod back on. I made it to the first checkpoint and got the mod working again, but for some reason Ellie decided to use invisibility. I still survived the section and made it through with no supplies to spare. Then I went to save Ellie. Except she didn't really need me to save her. Also, this end cutscene didn't swap Joel and Ellie, but instead just put two Ellies. Now look how happy Ellie is to be in Salt Lake City. We got to check out Salt Lake's beautiful petting zoo. Alright Joel, just gentle, real gentle. No, Joel, you can't- And then Joel gave me a picture he had, which actually broke the mod, so I had to replay the checkpoint and not pick it up. I avoided most of the infected in the tunnels, aside from a few that got in my path, but I didn't have enough ammo to deal with how many were down here, so I snuck by and shot this flicker that grabbed Joel. Ellie awkwardly stepped back and used telekinesis to place this ladder, before heading to the final underground area. I fell into this bus, did some more T-pose swimming, and carried Joel out of the water. Ellie was not happy with Marlene, and I took out every single firefly in this hospital. Oh, Ellie, that's not... I ain't got time for this. And the final slaughter of the game began. And now on to the next floor. I walked in on a live exorcism, and then it was time to deal with the final boss of the game. What are you doing in here? I snatched Joel off the operating table and made a break for the elevator. 
The game once again crashed in this cutscene, so I had to uninstall the mod and switch to Joel. I could watch part of the cutscene with the mod, but even that broke when I tried to rewatch it. I switched back to two Ellie's for the epilogue. Here, let me help you up. Psych! And finally finished the game as Ellie. Overall, I was impressed with this mod. It's not perfect, but it was still pretty good and the gameplay was very satisfying. The challenge itself was tricky, mostly due to the limitations I put on myself and the fact I couldn't hoard ammo like I normally do on Grounded. Still, I'm glad I tried it and I'll put a link to it in the description below. Be sure to subscribe to Epic Cakes Gaming if you like watching challenge videos like this for games such as The Last of Us, GTA, and Red Dead Redemption. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.